Today we are doing Zelda Breath of the Wild's Suma Sama Shrine in the Wasteland region. What's up YouTube, I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun. And today, I'm gonna show you how to complete this shrine quest. Watch to the end to get all of the chests. This shrine is located between Mount Grenage and Davo Peak. This is just to the east of the Desert Labyrinth. When you get up here, you will see that there is a kind of a broke down shack. There's an altar on the side of a Gerudo Peak and there's snowballs everywhere. But within this broke down shack, there is a book. And if we read said book, it says, this is a log of my findings concerning the shrine that sleep in the snowy Gerudo Peak. Discovery log day one. I come to the snowy mountain intending to find the ancient shrine that was written about in an old text. The shrine slumbers near the pedestal on a snowy Gerudo peak. I believe I've arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the passage. Discovery log day seven. It's been seven days since I arrived at the pedestal mentioned in the ancient texts. Unfortunately, I'm eating through my food provisions more quickly than I anticipated. On a brighter note, I found an explanation in the source text that may be the key to this riddle. When the snowy mountain pedestal glows, cast a cold shadow onto its core. I noticed a faint glow to the pedestal for a short while each day, but how to cast a cold shadow onto its core? It seems that this calls for further research here. Discovery log day, I've lost count. I can feel that I'm a hair's breadth away from unlocking the secrets hidden within the pedestal. I'm certain that casting and cold refer to using a specific type of shadow, but I've run out of food entirely and I doubt that I ever even had the tools to do the job, whatever they might be. And that activates the secret of the Snowy Peak Shrine Quest. Okay, so the pedestal lights up actually at around 4 p.m. So if it is after 4 p.m. for you, go ahead and light this campfire and sit until noon. And then you may notice that there are snowballs all over the place here. And if you make them big enough, they will cast a cold shadow. And you can see the pedestal over there. And there is some water here. And I have seen that you don't have to actually use a snowball to cast a shadow. I have seen videos where they actually used this water and created a, a cryonis pillar and casted a shadow that way. And it's also been done just using magnesis and holding up a large weapon. But I do believe that the game intends you to use a snowball. So that is what I did. But then it's just waiting. And as you're waiting, I know you want to have it in the middle, which is the core. But as the sun is moving, the shadow will move towards the core. And by the time that the pedestal actually lights up, it will have reached the middle as long as you are standing in the right spot. But either way, once it glows you just want to make sure that whatever you're using to cast a shadow on this pedestal is in the middle at four o'clock when it lights up all right right on the dot four o'clock it lights up my shadow's already casted and that is going to reveal the suma sama shrine Let's go right on over there and go right inside. And this is Suma Sama's blessing. So just go right up to your chest and open it up to reveal a dun 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 Moonlight Scimitar. Go ahead and stuff that in your back pocket because all that's left to do is talk to the monk and that's it, boys and girls, you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in the face so you don't miss any content released. This is KK Jinx, over and out.